losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Hi, so today let's install Topnet 3.5 onto a Windows 10 device using Intune. If we look in Windows features, we notice that it's not actually installed at the moment. So, what's the best way to do that? Well, one way, and not necessarily the best way, is to use a PowerShell script wrapped up in a Win32 wrapper. And the reason I do it that way is we can both uninstall and install it whenever we want to using that. So, I'll show you how we do that. So, this is my PowerShell script. It adds two modes to it add and remove if it's add it runs a dism command that adds the feature if the mode is remove it does a dism command to disable the feature and I'll show you I'll leave this um, script in the comments of the video but now let's show let's see how we can package that up into a win32 package so we run our packaging tool and what we need to get from here is we need to have the path to our source files which in this case is just a script and we copy and paste that into here we need the name of our PowerShell script paste that in there and a folder for the output and I'll just put the same path in to make that easier and I don't want to create a catalog folder so I'll just click it yes on that and then you will see it's created an intune.win file for me so next we need to import that into intune so once we've got intune open we go to add new package in the windows section of apps a win32 application and we need to select the package that we have just created we'll use that one click OK you can select an image or not you don't have to and that's a process just going into wherever you keep your image files and choosing one that you've already downloaded we give it a name we don't need to change the description but if we needed to we just have to enter edit description and pop what we need to in there enter a publisher name and we have to give it a version of our application Now our commands, we obviously have to turn off execution policy on the device with it being PowerShell. So we we PowerShell we turn off the turn the execution policy to bypass. This is the name of our script, and we set the mode to add for install and remove for uninstall which is how I set up the script we need to select an architecture so I can put either of those in I'm going to put Windows 1909 as the minimum version for our detection rule I'm going to add a registry key to this one and I happen to know which key it is that I need to look out for I'll also put that in the description of the video And we want to select if the key exists it classes it as a successful install dependencies we don't have any supersedence we don't assignments now you can either put this as required to a machine group or we can have it as available for a user group to demonstrate on this one I'm going to add it to the as an available to the users and I'm going to have it as a and the install I would put it as a required for the for, for uninstall if we needed to do that and we can create that 
I will upload that script up to Intio for me. If you wanted to put this in as part of an initial build going through ESP, we can also do that by going to our Unroll Devices, going to our ESP policy, and on Settings, we can add it to the selected apps list. So if we needed to, ha to have that go onto a device on the, on the initial build, as I said, that would be added to before the user even logs in. In this case, we don't want to do that. And we just need to wait for the policy to refresh on the VM so we can see if that installs correctly. On our VM or our device, we can force a sync by going into settings, accounts, access work or school, clicking on our account and info and just a little bit down is a sync and what we are waiting for is for that application to populate in company portal that was very fast that's done it already so all we need to do now is click on the application and click on install that can take up to a few minutes to a few a bit longer depending on the size of the package obviously this is just a script so should this should install relatively quickly you'll see in your toast menus if, if you leave them turned on that is is actually doing something It'll be downloading the packages from the Microsoft site as this is an online installer rather than an offline installer. You can see there it's telling us that it is now actually installed. So if we go back to our control panel and go into program features and turn on and off Windows components we'll see that .NET 3.5 is now installed. Now if we want to uninstall it we should go back to our Intune and in our assignments assignments we need to well in this case I will take it out of the availables and I'll add a, the, the device groups into the uninstall and that take, might take a little while to, to sync so I'll come back to that once that's run and show you the uninstall now if we go back to our device go back into control panel and we look at the features now we notice dotnet 3.5 has been removed so that's the end of this video, thanks for watching.